Jake, you have a really long nose hair. Thank you. On your on your, <laughs> on your left. <laughs> this one here? This side? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on one second. Do you see it, Nick? You see it? See that? You can see it. Take care of it. Every f show we have this issue. Every show he's got all this like- I'm getting old man hairs. I feel like sex. You got to get a grooming tool. I am tired of treasure hunting. Send me a link for what he uses. Get a lawnmower. Manscaped makes one. <laughs> I'm going to get it. Yeah. I'm Just look it. in the mirror, bro. Can you come over on the way to Parker Freeburg and help me manscape? <laughs> yeah. You're not coming to poker. <laughs> Don't come to poker. You're I sick. Just, if I manscape, can I come to poker? <laughs> Okay, so Jake, Hall, you're going to be a participant today. The world's greatest moderator is taking a week off to allow his voice to recoup, to recover, to heal. Yes. So he can come back blaring with his usual mid-sentence interruptions and excellent moderating tactics next week. We with his foghorn leghorn moderation. Foghorn, yeah, we are gonna we are gonna miss you at the moderation. Yeah, welcome to the top twenty, today. Sachs. You're welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the top 20 podcast in the world. Okay. Well, hold on. Who should be thinking whom? I mean, you've been doing this for 10 years. I walk mm. in here off the street. All of a sudden, we're top 20. Yeah. Let me explain something to you. Number one blog in the world I created with my guys in Gadget. Okay. Top five magazine in the world. Then I do a podcast with you three idiots. And all of a sudden, I drop down to top 20 in this medium. So Drop? What are you talking about? Yeah. Exactly. I drop. This has been A-B tested. No, I mean, This Week in Startup is a I niche I don't want to embarrass class. you, but look at Twist ratings compared to ours. <laughs> Tw this Week in Startups is about <laughs> startups. It is a niche audience Twist. by design, and it's Twist. the number one startup podcast in the world. That's what you wanted this show to be. No, I didn't. This show is about all topics. All topics Not by your design. View. Every time we try to talk politics, you're like, it's too much politics, Sachs. I think you're talking about Freeberg. <laughs> I think you're talking about Freeberg. Let's focus on narrow, legalistic uh, tech that's issues. That's not true. You, we had this discussion, Sachs, and I said we should always do the top story of the week, even if it's politics. And now I, you're taking agreement. credit for my insight about McLaughlin Group. I saw okay. you on some pod. Uh, Who was it? I absolutely designed this pod around McLaughlin. The fact that you, you didn't also designed McLaughlin, McLaughlin Group. I'm the one I did. who said McLaughlin Group. Okay, it's possible for two people to have the same idea, Sax. We both grew up on McLaughlin Group. That's why we're both cantankerous assholes. Moderator intervention. Cut it out. <laughs> no one is individually responsible for this podcast. It was Tim Ferriss. Yeah, Tim Ferriss. Here's what happened. So I was on YouTube and, um, you know, I'm not going to watch some two hour like podcast with J. Cal, of course, but for some reason, <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, Tim Ferriss clipped, Let me that. He clipped Let me 10 me. minutes of J. Oh, Cal and it, the, the video is called The Origin of the All In Podcast. Oh, I can't stand when he does oh, that. Oh, God, here we go. I can't stand when he does that. Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so well, I got to watch this. this in the partnership agreement. He said, Here's the, the party line, and J-Cal will not stick with it. Yeah, go we're ahead. going yeah. to go ahead, recreate history. I gotta watch this. I gotta see this alternative reality that J-Cal's right. trying to create about the origin of the all Excuse in podcast. Excuse me, I wrote, I wrote in our A legal fake agreement. history, yes, and I changed uh, no, it. No, yeah. the origin story that you signed up to. Are you saying you changed the origin story? No, the origin story purposes? remains the same. No, it doesn't. You call me after CNBC. Yeah, okay. the origin story that he oh, told God. Tim Ferriss, which is like a 10-minute story of how he created the whole thing. The concept was his. It was based on McLaughlin Group. Which well, I'm the, the one moderation concept is mine, and obviously, by default. How I moderate the program is by my design, yes. You didn't come up with this concept. Much to your chagrin. Of course I did. No. Of course I did design my moderation. Who Chamath designed my moderation? was the first one who said, we should record us having conversations at the poker table. No. That idea came from him, right? That's why it's called the all-in pod. No. no. I came up with the name all-in, number one. <laughs> Number two, it was his idea to tape a pod because he came out of CBC. Hey, anyway, who cares? The pod's here. It's successful. <laughs> who cares? Who cares? Well, if no one cares why do you keep going on podcasts telling everyone that you're the mastermind of the all in pod? People are What's saying, you, Jake, you have the game. <laughs> other podcasters, I'll explain to you. Other podcasters are in awe of my ability to moderate you three malcontents. You did not have the idea for the foursome based on McLaughlin Group. That happened. That happened spontaneously as a result of the fact that, no, Freeberg was, I think, the first guest. I was the second guest. Then we did the four of us together. Okay. That was the not moderation, your concept. It evolved how spontaneously. This is moderated. It was a jam session that worked out. That's okay, it. Okay, fine. It, the, way the, the way I moderate this is of note. To the world's greatest podcasters. They want to know, Jake out. How do you take three misanthropic malcontents <laughs> and make them actually palatable to the world? And I say, you know what? Because I am the world's greatest moderator. And someone like Tim Ferriss wants to know. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> what makes me a misanthropic malcontent? Exactly. Just your behavior and worldview. 
What, what is oh it? What is, describe that. What oh my is my God. behavior and what is my worldview? Your absolute contempt for humanity. <laughs> You're mourning over humanity. everybody. <laughs> no. Wow. You're amazing. I'm, it's a joke. Wow. It's called a wow. joke. It's called a joke. Oh, now you set him off, J.K.L. You really, that, that hurt. You should apologize. It's called a joke. I think you guys are wonderful. I think you guys are wonderful. Well, I may, I may be misanthropic, but malcontent, I'm not. No, Sachs and Freeberg are the malcontents, for sure. I'm not malcontent. Screwed. I'm pretty damn happy. You're happy? The last descriptor anybody who knows you would ascribe to Friedberg was happy. No, I would say, no, I think he's happy. He's anxious, but he's happy. Yeah, he's anxious, mm. but happy. Did you see the roast? That was not a happy man. That was tearing you up. That was funny. Yeah. That was a the misanthropic that was part of him. Yeah, that was venting. He was venting. Yeah. That was rage. It was happy. pure rage. No, I think I think when Freebird tries to be funny, it comes out kind of mean. Yeah, maybe that's true. It's a, it's a little humor. bit of rage. The only person that sets me off into making me unhappy is you, J. Cal. I mean, <laughs> like, the four of us could go to therapy, or we could keep recording this podcast every week, <laughs> which is cheaper. I think it's cheaper for us to just record the pod. You know what? I, for one, am thankful to whoever gave you whatever sickness you have that causes you to not be able to talk this week. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank You're you. talking a lot for a guy who can't talk. Let's cut <laughs> it out. You guys okay. are coming at me. I'm sick. Be nice to me.